Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted again, spewing lava for the 31st time since December. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted again on Friday, sending a 100-foot, 30-meter arc of lava into the air and across part of the floor of its summit crater. This was Kilauea's 31st eruption of molten rock since December, a high frequency for one of the world's most active volcanoes. The north vent in the summit crater began spewing lava steadily in the morning, then erupted a few hours later. The vent began spewing lava fountains in the afternoon. The eruption occurred within the summit crater, and no homes were threatened. A few lucky residents and visitors will have a front-row view of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. If the past is any indication, hundreds of thousands more will watch the popular live stream, made possible by three camera angles set up by the U.S. Geological Survey. Every time she hears news of more lava, National Park Service volunteer Janice Way rushes to take photos and videos of Halamamau Crater, which, according to native Hawaiian tradition, is home to the volcano goddess Pele. She says that when the molten rock shoots up like a fountain, it sounds like the roar of a jet engine or the crashing of ocean waves. She can feel the heat from more than a mile away. Every eruption feels like I'm sitting in the front row at nature's most incredible spectacle. Kilauea is located on the island of Hawaii, the largest of the Hawaiian archipelago. It's about 200 miles, 320 kilometers, south of the state's largest city, Honolulu, on Oahu. The lower magma chamber beneath Halamamau Crater receives magma directly from the Earth's interior at a rate of about 5 cubic yards, 3.8 cubic meters per second, said Ken Han, the scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. This inflates the magma chamber like a balloon and pushes magma into the upper chamber. From there, it is pushed up to the surface through fissures. Magma has been using the same path to rise to the surface since December, making the initial release and subsequent episodes all part of the same eruption, Han said. Many feature lava shooting high into the air, in some cases more than 1,000 feet, 300 meters. These fountains form in part because magma, containing gases released as it rises, has flowed to the surface through narrow pipe-like vents. 
The expanding magma supply is masked by heavier magma that had released its gas at the end of the previous episode. Eventually, enough new magma accumulated to force the degassed magma out, and it gushed out like a champagne bottle shaken before the cork was popped. This was the fourth time in 200 years that Kilauea had ejected lava fountains into the air in repeated episodes. There were more episodes the last time Kilauea followed this pattern. The eruption that began in 1983 began with 44 fountaining sessions. However, those eruptions were spread out over three years, and the fountains appeared in remote areas, so few people were able to witness them. The other two occurred in 1959 and 1969. 